guys, welcome back to The Cozy Show. It has been a very, very long time and I am so happy to be back. Um, things in life catches up to you, which is why there's been over a year long break, so I apologize greatly for that, but you know, life happens. But since I graduated college and I now have a lot more time on my hands, I have been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, and I am going to be restarting up this channel, but completely reinventing it, but with the same idea behind it. I'm gonna be bringing on a lot more guests, um, creating a lot more segments, slowly but surely, um, just kind of getting back into the swing of things, you know? Uh, I am actually going to be finishing 2AM Thoughts by Mackenzie Campbell. Um, I thought you guys deserved to hear the last part, and yeah. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Um, let's get back into it. But first, I think we need to get comfy and cozy. Now that we are all comfy and cozy, I think it is well deserved to finish this after making you guys wait this long. So this, this is Dawn. Love is something absolutely beautiful. Yes, it may tear me apart and make me vulnerable as hell, but it is also one of the only things in life worth living for. Love allowed me to find someone who accepted me for my differences and embraced me for who I was. Someone to hold my hand when the world was falling apart and tell me everything is going to be all right. Yes, love killed me when I got left behind or forgotten, but I have to remember the times it ignited our hearts with fiery flames and allowed us to burn together. It's been five months. I hadn't slept since. But last night, the rain returned and pounded on my window and somehow my eyes managed to close. I did dream of you, yes, but I slept. I actually slept. For the longest time, I was puzzled as to why I only found peace when it rained, but as I write this, I'm beginning to realize. The raindrops that tap against my window rhythmically mimic the drumbeat of your heart, the one I used to fall asleep next to. It was so nice to hear your voice again, and see that smile, and feel the warmth of your body folding around me. It was brief, but it was nice. You left, but you never really left. Does that make sense? Maybe it was all in my head. Maybe the way I saw things, felt things, was just me and you didn't think a thing of it. Maybe our versions of reality are polar opposites and you never felt anything while I carried the weight of the world inside my heart. There will always be a rope between you and me. When we drifted apart years ago, we never cut it, for we never said goodbye. We called it a break, a pause to be resumed at a later time. It's just that the break, the pause, didn't end and the rope that binds us together remains uncut. You and I, we will always be connected. It may show up in a song or a place or in the depths of lonely nights. My name will always be at the back of your mind and yours will always have a place in my heart. So long as that rope remains between us. The history of us has already faded. There are few witnesses left able to recall, yet it is still vivid in my mind. The touch of you, the taste of you, the colors of your soul. You watered the flowers in my soul. You helped me grow into the person I am today. I understand why you left. You came to teach me how to tend my own garden rather than helplessly wait for someone else to do so. So although I wish you would have stayed, I'm thankful that you didn't. Only in your absence did I learn that I can survive on my own just fine. You're a stranger now, but your eyes will always be familiar. I cannot love you again. You burnt that bridge to the ground. But years have gone by and you have changed. I cannot love you again, but I'd like to be part of your life and you a part of mine. Maybe we can rebuild that infrastructure and hold hands not as lovers, but as friends. The morning sky seemed to melt into itself. The clouds cleared and bowed as the sun peeked over the horizon. Yellows and purples blended together, creating lilac poetry within the sunrise. As I drove farther from your house, as I put more miles between us, I looked up and saw what God had painted for me. That's when I knew that everything was going to be okay. Definitely not today, probably not tomorrow, maybe not for a long while, but eventually. If you are reading this, I guess I want you to know that you meant a lot to me. Now, you've changed, I've changed, 
You're a stranger, I'm a memory. I don't miss you anymore, I miss the idea of you. But sometimes, I get those two confused. Often, we do not realize until it's too late. We do not realize until the goodbye is stamped on our hearts. We do not realize it until it hurts. Then we look back with heavy eyes and say, Oh, that must have been love. I will not apologize for things that I shouldn't. If someone demands those words and then walks out the door when I fail to deliver, I will let them. They no longer have a place in my life. They do not deserve me. I will no longer look for a man when I feel empty. I have learned this only postpones the heartache. They may come to me in my time of need and fill the holes in my heart, but they will soon grow tired of this chore and leave me feeling emptier than before. Suddenly, I woke up one morning and you weren't my first thought. I looked out the window and thought of what a good day it was going to be rather than how broken I still am since you left. You were still there in the back of my head, but you weren't first. I call that progress. There's been a weight lifted off my shoulders. To be so close to having love and then watching it fall away has brought me relief. Relief! As soon as I told you goodbye, I felt relieved and that's how I know it was never right in the first place. You should never watch love walk away and be content with that. If so, it was never love in the first place. It's the little things that I miss. The shape of your smile, the glint in your ocean eyes, and the way that you pronounced each letter of my name. Let the music fill the empty patches of your soul and heal you. Self-love is survival. Without that, oxygen won't do a damn thing. I've decided today to love myself and look into that mirror and smile. Even though my first thought may be negative, my actions no longer will be. I am choosing to love me for me. How does it feel, how does it make you feel to know that although you let my heart into a state of great brokenness and fragility, you also led me to great excess? Success. You inspired these words and now the world gets to read them. Pen and paper have healed me much better than any doctor ever could. If I look into a mirror and I don't like what I see, I won't change my appearance. I'll change my mindset. Eventually, you will hit a crossroads and you will have four choices with no compass to guide you. This may be the biggest decision of your life. Please, whatever you do, do not turn around and walk back the way you came. You didn't come this far only to give up when your path is no longer clear. To read poetry is such a gift. To experience the works of my brothers and sisters, to soak in the lovely words, awful words, tragic words, is like planting seeds inside me. To write poetry is such a passion. To bleed emotions onto a blank page for others to embrace, to create this delicate art, fragile art, beautiful art. It's like watering a garden instilled in me ever since I could read and finally watching it grow. All in all, this book is not only about the love we hold for others, it's about self-love. You do not need a man to make you feel whole. You should feel that on your own. And you need to understand that you must first love yourself before allowing another person to do so. There will come a point where everything falls into place. Everything makes sense. Why this didn't happen, why that did. Every past experience, moment, and memory is just that. In the past. And you won't look back. You'll be too busy living in the present world, enjoying your beautiful life without hesitations or fear of anything. You'll catch yourself smiling for no apparent reason except the realization that this is your life and you are here for it. It might seem absurd to you right now. It might not. Maybe the world is weighing down on you and you feel like you're drowning and there's no way to make it stop. No way to reach the light in whatever dark void you found yourself. Maybe you haven't found yourself at all. Your time is coming. I remember feeling empty, alone, scared of the world and what it had in store for me. I remember having these fears of judgment and failure and letting these drive my actions each day. I remember my late nights, the ones where I would spend hours sitting in darkness thinking, is this how the rest of my life will be? What if it doesn't change? Even worse, what if I keep believing it will and then it never does? But it does. I can promise you that. People always say that, I know, but I've experienced this, and once you do too, you'll understand these words and the power they carry. These bits and pieces of yourself that you own are soon to fall into place, and you will feel like you're on top of the world. Your entire outlook on life might even change.
How do I know? Well, I'm sitting here writing this and smiling for no apparent reason except that this is my life. And I'm here for it. That, I think, is a wonderful conclusion to this amazing, amazing poetry book. Um, so, yes, I agree with what the book is saying entirely. This is, you know, it's all about you. It's, it's about self-love. It's about finding the goodness and the, you know, the ability to go on every day. To find the good things and the little moments that make everything worth living for. And to be able to say, this is my life and I'm here for it no matter what happens, no matter what I do. This is it. This is me. And that's the entire point, isn't it? So, this will be the end of this episode. But I'm really excited to be showing you all the newly rewritten and <laughs> reformulated version of The Cozy Show. And I'm so happy to be back and sharing this life with you all. I'm so happy. <laughs> So thank you. Remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share if you can. Leave a comment down below if this resonated with you, if you liked it, what you'd like to see. And welcome back, friends.